are back at it. The Dunk 360 All-Star Lounge VIP booth. And I'm here. Honestly, she needs no introduction. If you are a follower of New York basketball, all things Madison Square Garden, Miss the lovely Tina Zavacio. How are you doing Thank today? Thank you so much. I'm so glad I, I got to see you guys. Dude, it's dude. really awesome. Honestly, I, I, I was telling her off the record before. Like, I'm trying my best to keep it cool right now, but I'm I'm a little geeky right now. I'm you trying to pinch the myself. All yeah, and earlier. like and this is a New York oh. all-star to me. I'm a New Yorker. I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> so you watch a lot of Knicks basketball. <laughs> oh, you obviously. love it. A lot of Billy Joel too. Oh, that's, there you go. <laughs> a, little, a little shameless plug there for MSG. But tell us how you doing? Doing good. This is really fun. Awesome. Having the all-star game in New York City yeah. is amazing. I mean, it is just nonstop. I mean, you see in traffic, you'll see players, and whether they're in the All Star game or not, yeah. you know, the whole league is here. Yeah, it's the Empire State. You know, they you call it the it. mecca of basketball, yep. the Garden, and New York City. And it's it's been a rough couple of years. We yeah. you know, had some really big highlights great two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Everything was looking bright, but, you know, it's about, it's, it's a city game. So exactly. it's about the entire city. city. It's 100%. about, the, you know, the playground basketball. Yeah. It's those, those schools where five, six, <laughs> seven year olds are, are playing at lunchtime. Yeah. In Brooklyn, in Queens, in the Bronx. Yeah. That, it's a city game. So I, that's what we're, we're celebrating this weekend, too. Man. So it's it's really awesome that you just bring this into perspective, especially on the cultural spectrum of things. Now, for you personally, being that you've been with a steam position at MSG for a while, like, what does it mean to you personally to see the NBA bring All Star Weekend back to New York City in such a magnificent way? In 1998, when it was last yeah. year, I was just breaking into the business. Yeah. So no tickets, no media credentials, you know, <laughs> barely. Hustling, playing, hustling. Paying my bills, barely. Yeah. So I remember watching that game, though, thinking, because I live in New Jersey. Yeah. Thinking, okay, this is happening 10 miles from where I live. Yeah. And it was the whole passing of the torch, torch. Jordan to Kobe. Yeah. I remember a breakaway Kobe, because they had their own uniforms on in that Yeah. Game. And just the spin dunk and um, the fact that I am not only – a sportscaster now yeah. covering the New York Knicks and the game is back here in 2015 and the fact that it's incorporated with Brooklyn and Brooklyn having a team yeah. as well and again it goes all back to city basketball um, that's why I think there's so many other NBA players here this weekend as well mm -hmm. and uh, it goes beyond just the NBA, the two NBA teams that yeah. are here and then you said it's culture it's I mean we're talking about the 40s yeah you know when the, the old garden yeah yeah I mean it's so there's so much history about the game and yeah what it means here and this, and then there's the whole celebrity thing and the, the bright light and it's the glitz week. the glamour I mean, the Russell aura gonna sleep at all? <laughs> I think, let me tell you something okay season trouble next week no, seriously because that guy's <laughs> bouncing from fashion Yo, week to all-star stuff and fashion it's so overwhelming in this city right now As I don't it is normal. I, I can't. I don't even think New York City can handle this right now. It's so wild. It's so wild. We have it's Kanye West. So it was like, yeah, it's like so crazy. It's and crazy. It's five right degrees, now. but um, <laughs> but yeah. I, I, last night I was at Nike Zoom. Yeah. So I How was that? that. You had a good time with the LED court. Oh. I had a buddy of mine playing in that. Nice. He won the MVP. Brian Cordovich. Shout out. Oh, to shout him. out to you, Ryan. Working aces. Okay. Who plays at Rucker. Oh. You know, like so. There. What I loved about that was these are guys that just love the game. Yeah. They love a basketball. Mm -hmm. They're not playing in the NBA, but yeah. they'll, they'll play in. They're good enough for the playground leagues. You yeah. know, they're, they're good enough to go make a team that'll play at Rucker. And anytime they could play a pickup game, get a uniform, play for team whoever, uh, they're doing it. So it was so cool to see that last night. You know, That's awesome. Those players out there. That's awesome. Now let's talk about. We talked about the All Star Weekend. Let's let's break it down on a more macro scale. All Stars of fashion. Your okay. top five. Your top five. It doesn't have to be New York bias. I know, right? But. <laughs> I've got to say, Carmelo. Give us, get, all right, yeah, number I, one, yeah, obviously. Like, I think, like, his, like, I'll be interviewing yeah. him, and then at post game, I've been staring at his number seven. Yeah, he's been wearing so, yeah, the chain. Yeah. And the, then the material sometimes in his jackets and the other. He's guys, big like, on oh, minimalism is, now. Yes. He's big, on, and it's working right. for him. Less prints. Less prints. Uh, just he had that more, wool more of that. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. You know uh, the hats. Cooling. Media stuff. day earlier today yeah. too. He's really smooth with it. Really smooth. You I know, think it's a good look I for him. I used to love, and I'm kind of disappointed he wasn't an add-on by the commissioner. But um, I mean, hate him as an opponent. But Kevin Garnett, and I, you know, he sort of was the one that started yeah. thinking outside the box a few mm. years back with the sweaters and the, the button down hanging got out it, and the got glasses. It. I kind of like that. He was the initiator on that. Got it. And then LeBron and Westbrook with their glasses kind of followed suit. Um, I think Russell's a little extreme for me. I love what he <laughs> does. I love it. 
Um, I mean, these guys, I, and, and another one that I use, I'm going classic, I'm showing my age here. I used to the Steve Nash, when he oh, kind of made yeah. that switch over. No, with the yeah, suits. suits. Oh, Steve Nash. I think I think Steve Nash, honestly, is one yeah. of the most slept on stylish basketball players in the game, honestly. And I'm a young guy. You know, I'm so at my age now. I think Nash is one of those guys. The colors who, who does, you yeah. work in. Maybe it's Kill a Canadian it. thing, but I, I miss seeing him around and the suits. But that's what I love. If a player, now again, I, I said the garnet with the sweat yeah. and all that, but the suit and tie. Killing it. Yeah. It's always a classic look. Night, you've got Gents, pay suit. attention. She's so giving us the code tie. right there. She's Anytime. giving us the code. <laughs> I really love it. Amari, Amari pulls that off the Euro suits a yeah. lot. So I get to see the skinny jeans and with his shape. And the, 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 the colors, like the black on black tie, oh, like man. A silver or colored yeah. jacket, love it. One last question. All star music right now for you. Who's your Who's your musical all star right now? I always love my girl Rihanna though. I mean, even if she's not, I love, I, so I love the latest recording, obviously with oh, Kanye. Oh, hi Rihanna. And Paul McCartney. <laughs> I, I listen to her constantly when I'm working out. In oh, the that car, song is in awesome. Bad mood gets anything. Four, so I love five it. I love seconds from Friday. That song is great. That song is great. Yeah. Tina, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hey, this is Tina Servasio from the MSG Network, New York Knicks sideline reporter, and you gotta check out Dunk 360. Tom Ford.